Bumblebee. We are here to do a now 90 day, we've had this puppy for a quarter, 90 day product review for our new favorite kitchen appliance. Heck yeah. The Lomi. <laughs> Bloom and Grow YouTube show. Welcome back to the Bloom and Grow YouTube show. If you're new here, hi, I'm Maria. And today we're joined by my sweet, handsome husband, hi. Billy. <laughs> Welcome, Billy. Thanks for having me. I felt that it was important to have Billy join me for this product review of the Lomi because this has become such an integral part of our daily lives. As us, as a couple who cooks a lot, I was like, how can Billy not be a part of this video? So This was one I wanted to be a part of. I'm, I'm pretty reticent to get in front of a camera, but this is something that I strongly believe in, so I figured, why the heck not? Because it's our new favorite toy. Okay, so we have a lot to cover in this video today. Basically, the structure is going to be our review of the experience of having it for the first 90 days. We'll answer some frequently asked questions we've gotten from my audience because I've been sharing this on social media and have been asked to do a full review. We'll talk about how we use it in our daily lives and then we're going to do some live composting for you. We're gonna show you what we're composting tonight um, at the end of our day of cooking all day. Um, but also I'll be composting my Pella uh, phone case and maybe some other surprises throughout the video. So stay tuned. So, Billy, first off, I think we should say what is the Lomi for people who haven't heard about it. Yeah, I mean, I would say that it's the one of the only devices that I would willingly put on a countertop. I'm pretty stingy when it comes to what I put on my kitchen surfaces, but really it's the thing that is now added into the end of the cooking cycle. You do all your prep, you yeah. do all your cooking, you do all your cleaning, um, and that last step has been waste for the longest amount of time where most things just end up in the garbage. This has been something that I can actually feel really positive about because I only want things that are really high quality, always do exactly what they're asked to do. And so far, the, the Lomi has been uh, the only thing that I've been excited to put on the kitchen countertop. So I I'm know. really, really happy with it. It's been awesome. We're obsessed with it. I have to say two things to that. Number one, I think I love that what you just said is that it's like part of our kitchen cooking experience now. Sure. It's just the next step after cleanup. I, when I approached Lomi to work together as a podcast sponsor, I actually asked to have the product for an extra amount of time to test because this thing seemed too magical online. Like the things that I saw, I was like, how does this take all of your kitchen scraps and turn it into dirt? But plan friends, it does. And that's what it is. It's a tabletop composter. It's a kitchen appliance. As a millennial, I'm like, oh my gosh, who am I that I'm this excited about a kitchen appliance? But here we are. Literally, it transforms your kitchen scraps, eggshells, um, Lomi approved plastics and paper goods into dirt that you can use in your house plants, in your garden, or toss outside or in your green bin. And there's a, there's a benefit on the opposite side as well. I mean, we, we don't have trash service here, so we bring our trash yes. to the dump all the time. Uh, and because of that, we're pretty aware of how much trash we're generating. We've noticed a significant drop off because we're not filling as many trash bags. We're able to use, I mean, I'd say at least 40 to 50% of what used to go in the garbage mm -hmm. can now goes in here and then goes back into nature. So uh, from a sustainability standpoint, it's, I mean, it's a knockout of the park. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah, garbage was a huge pain point for us. Like Billy said, we have to take all of our garbage to the dump. So we usually only go once a week. And it's the food waste that breaks down in your garbage to make it smelly. Mm -hmm. That was my biggest thing. Like our garbage is no longer smelly because everything that's breaking down in the garbage we're instead putting in the Lomi. And yeah, it's greatly reduced. I also feel like using this has opened my eyes to how much food waste there is and Absolutely. how much we had been wasting. And it makes you so much more mindful when you're putting something in the Lomi to be composted at night instead of in the trash. Yeah, you start thinking about the ingredients in your refrigerator a little bit more because when you put a piece of, like for instance, we have a cucumber here that I didn't see in time that we actually saved for this. But mm -hmm. normally at that point, I would try to do something else with that cucumber. Maybe I'm pickling it. Maybe, you know, if I have fruit that's starting to go bad, maybe I'm drying it. I'm, I'm more connected with the ingredients that I have because I'm spending extra time just for you know a couple extra seconds to put it into something that's gonna take it out of the garbage. So for me, that's been really, really awesome. So for those curious about the setup, the Lomi actually gets shipped to you in a box that you can put into the Lomi and compost. <laughs> that was like so meta. Um, but yeah, so it comes in a box it, and it pretty much comes set up. Um, the Lomi just had a few parts to, to be set up. Basically, it's this cool, really sleek. The other thing is I appreciate the design because it's like super modern and sleek. Um, but basically, it's just this like plastic shell. It's got this heavy duty tin, um, bucket 
it on the inside that you put your food scraps in. Help me with that, thank you. Um, and then two filters that you fill with charcoal, you put it in and you're good to go. So the assembly was super simple. I didn't have to ask you for any help. <laughs> I assembled it. Also a bonus. Myself, which <laughs> is something impressive. Um, and you're composting like within 15 minutes of unpacking it, which was pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, it, it harkens back to like, I would say that this is almost like the cast iron pan of its own little category. Like it's something that we always keep around and it's that easy to use and it's something that it I swear much, by. Yeah. So this has quickly become that and I'm pretty excited about I it. I will say the first couple of times we used it, we were like kids on Christmas morning, like the next day coming <laughs> down because we run it at night. So basically we collect our food scraps in the Lomi all throughout the day. We work from home, so we cook a lot. We fill the loamy with our food scraps. We press it at the end after we've um, done the dishes and go to bed. It The cycle runs like between three and five hours. And then when we wake up in the morning, we have fresh soil. And it actually, it's changed the way that we cook in terms of how we clean as we cook as well. Because very yeah. often I used to have uh, just a side bowl that I would put food scraps in that would end up in the garbage. I can actually take this bowl, the, the bucket right out of the center of the loamy and that becomes my food scrap bin. So as I'm peeling potatoes or cracking eggs, whatever I'm using goes right into this place. So it's just one less thing to clean um, and it ends up going right in here instead and it has made it uh, a, a lot better. The kitchen's a lot cleaner than it used to be. It's so just it's a bonus. the greatest. Yeah. We're obsessed. So... Let's do some frequently asked questions. Since I've been posting about it on social media, I've gotten a bunch of questions, so I figured I'd ask them to you, Billy, since you are not, it's not a paid partner for you. <laughs> um, okay, does it smell? No, it actually, oddly enough, uh, when you open up the top, it smells like Good. Like, like spice and bacon. It, it smells really, really like earthy and nice, because you would expect that from the, from the soil that it creates, but it just smells toasty and warm. It doesn't smell I, rotting at all. It's fantastic. And I think that's a complaint for some other composters. Like yeah. people reached out to me being like, oh, my compost smells so bad. My compost smells so bad. This is a great, the other, oh, the other thing is, who is this right for? When we were living in 500 square feet in New York City and they cut the composting program, this would have been also perfect for us. Yeah. Um, you know, if you are just looking to, if you're, it depends if you're in an apartment, if you're in a home, if you don't have a composting program available to you, if your composting program is really difficult and you're like saving your food scraps in your freezer and then you're bringing it to the farmer's market at once a month, this just like simplifies food waste in the craziest way. It absolutely does, especially also if you have a lot of animals outside. One of the things that I noticed yeah. when we used to compost in New York is that there would always be little critters running around that bin because they identified as a food source because the waste inside is baked and like all of that, uh, all of that nutritional attraction is taken away from animals. Yeah. So, you know, for a lot of at home composters that are really passionate about it, you have to keep whatever you're composting in pretty tight because there are critters out there that would love to get to those, uh, to those fermenting and rotting foods because that's not the case with this. We can dispose of the soil right outside. It doesn't attract any pests. There's no critters running around it and it's, it's fantastic. So it's, whether you live in a city or whether you live out in the country, it's uh, it's a pretty big bonus. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, and I did get a couple of questions, I feel like, when I first posted, being like, you live in the woods, why do you have a Lomi? And to clarify, we don't have a composting program where we live. We don't have a dump. We're renting. So we can't install the next level compost system that you see a lot of country people living it, you know, having. Ideally, yes, that's where you want to go, right? Having your natural epic composting setup, that's not available to us right now in our moment of life as renters, but we are kind of trapped in the woods where we have bear, deer, and all sorts of other animals where we weren't able to take our apple cores and our food scraps and just throw them in the woods because that would attract bear, and we don't want bear. Well, so the yeah. loamy was the perfect answer to that. That and like, I, I wouldn't even call the, the, the larger composters the next level, I would say that this is because you don't have to have that extra long waiting time uh, before you can use it for gardening purposes. Like it's done a lot faster, you can use it a lot more readily, and for that, I think that this really is the next level for me at least. That's Well, it's our next, yeah, it's our next step, exactly. Yeah. Um, how long does it run? Good question. There are three different settings for the Lomi. So um, we have only used one setting because it works for us. It's the Eco Express. So there's the grow mode that actually will run for 24 hours and that turns it into like nutrient rich. It preserves the most amount of microorganisms. So if you're using this for your house plants or your garden, like you can use that grow mode. We use the Eco mode. So that's about three to four hours. 
Um, it's low energy. You press the button, you forget about it. And then there's also a Lomi approved mode, which we've never tried, that's five to eight hours. So depending on what you're composting and what your intention to do with the dirt is, you have options, um, but we've only just used Eco because we just want to be, you know, smart about energy. Is it loud? No, it has this like nice little uh, like low hum to it. It's not, it, it, it's not oppressive or aggressive. I, I do a lot of uh, work at home and if it was, one of yeah. my biggest problems with any device is if it makes too much noise or if it's beeping and booping all over the place while I'm <laughs> on a call, it, 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 can, it can be distracting. That's not the case with us. Uh, it's just like one beep when you cooker. press the button and then one beep when it's done. Uh, when it's done. Like our rice cooker, which I also love. The, the rice cooker <laughs> beeps and boops a lot. Um, yeah, we will give you a sound clip. We're gonna actually run this at the end of the video. So if you wanna hear what this sounds like, stay tuned. Um, but it's never interrupted anything. I would imagine if we still lived in the city, it would be great white noise. Um, here in the country, it's so quiet that we can hear it, but it's low and it never like interrupts anything for us. So that's not a deterrent. And it's constant. It's not like abrupt. It just kind of hums low and then it's done. It's no, not like a lot of shifts in sound. Yeah. What people are now, I've gotten a million. What do you put in the Lomi? Yeah. What do we put in the Lomi? So, uh, 90% of what I put in the Lomi uh, are food scraps. Eggshells. Um, <laughs> Eggshells, apple cores. Billy uh, eats like 40 billion eggs a I, I do eat a fair, yeah. amount of, uh, fair amount of eggs, but potato peels. Um, and honestly, it's it's mostly just bio waste that, that I put in there because it makes uh, um, it makes everything a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, we always put our coffee filter with our coffee grinds in. That has been huge. We make coffee every morning we are not putting our coffee grinds in the garbage anymore. And our coffee nice. filters are unbleached, which is an important thing to remember. Yeah. So we, we get the brown paper filters. Um, it's better across the board to not use bleach paper regardless. And so um, that's one of the things that you keep out of the Lomi. So we don't put any bleach paper, any bleach paper towels yeah, or anything like, like that. Towels. We use natural fur. A few other things, I have the do's and don'ts in here, but a few other things that surprised me in addition to the coffee grinds and filters, we can put fish bones <laughs> eggs, our shrimp tails we put in there, um, watermelon rinds we put in there, starches, that's normal. You can put yogurt, like if you have yogurt that goes bad, you can pop in there and yard trimmings. The things that they don't advise you to put in there are hard bones, like chicken bones, um, oils and greases, large fruit pits, soaps. Um, Lo, lo, uh, there are Lomi approved plastics you can put in here, but most of them are not. So I would avoid, we avoid plastics, foil wrap, um, and styrofoam. Basically, if it's going to clog your sink at home, yeah, don't, don't put it in the Lomi. <laughs> um, but I was shocked with how many things you can put in the Lomi, yeah. frankly. Um, and now <laughs> I feel like in the first 30 days, it was like, should we try putting the fish, the fish tails in? Do we really think this is going to work? Well, it's, it does. it's also like anything else. Like when, when you invest in something like this, you want to take care of it. Like, you know, we have a KitchenAid mixer and that's, another one of my kitchen appliance babies and I take very, very good care of it. And you want to take care of it. You want to find out how to best engage with it because that's one of the best parts about having something for a very long time. And they've clearly in the engineering put a lot of thought into having this for a long time, which is important. So full transparency, Lomi sponsors the Bloomer Girl Radio podcast, but I required 60 days to test this before. I never work with sponsors with that make products that I don't like. And I always think with these reviews, it's important to do the positives and the negatives of the review with Lomi, you know, with Lomi's blessings. Cause I want to be real with you guys. And in my end, it's not my company. So I, I, <laughs> I only talk about things that I like. <laughs> so let's do obviously the positives. We're turning our food scraps into dirt. It's incredible. Well, yeah, I mean, um, honestly put, we're both really passionate about sustainability and about, uh, you know, living as green a lifestyle as we possibly can. And this has been one of the only things that I think's made a tangible difference in uh, at least my life uh, in the last couple I of think, years. I think an uns uh, a surprising positive was the awareness, I think, that we both... Huge awareness. Like, we've both become way more aware of the food that we're consuming, of the waste that we're producing. Yeah. It's just another step of, like, really opening your mind to being more sustainably focused. You're building good habits. It's been... It's, yeah. There's definitely been habit, habitual changes in the way that we've engaged with our yeah. food scraps and with all of our waste, so it's been pretty awesome. Yeah. In terms of negatives... You know, I mean, I feel some people have asked, like, yeah, doesn't it suck so much energy? The lo the mode we use is low energy, but, you know, in full disclosure, it does run for three to five hours a day. Um, doesn't, it doesn't pull any more energy than my Yeah, laptop. I haven't seen it's a difference awesome. in our energy bill. There's been no change. Um, it does make a sound, 
But the sound to me is does not bother me at all. But nope. I feel like depending on your sensitivity to sound, like that's something, but it's not a negative for us. I wouldn't say the it's only, any louder than uh, like a dishwasher. Yeah, it's, it's no. It's quieter it's, than yeah, a dishwasher. Yeah, that's true. It's, <laughs> it is. That's it. That's the best way to describe it. It's way quieter than yeah. dishwasher. Similar, similar sort of rhythmic sound to it. It's a um, kitchen appliance, yeah. you know. And then, last but not least, the one thing I do want to say, if you decide to bring a Lomi home, you do need a plan for what you're going to do with all the dirt that it makes. Because realistically, you're making dirt. My mom likes to say you're growing dirt in your kitchen. Um, but the only thing I would say is you need to make a plan for what you're doing with all that dirt. Whether you're actively gardening outside that you're constantly putting it in, whether you're saving it up to pot with your house plants. Um, but just know that, you know, with for all of that food waste, it's going to turn it into dirt. It's not a lot. It, basically turns like this much food waste into like this much dirt yeah. um but you need some sort of plan with what to do with it for us we um we have a lot of different of time, uses we, yeah like we'll mix it we'll mix it into the some of the flower beds to add extra yeah. nutrients to it we can dump uh, it in the woods we can dump it in the woods yeah. if we want to or we can save it up for especially as we head into growing season next yeah. year i really want to practice um you know getting as much of the nutrient dense mode as we possibly can to then ideally plant a bunch of food for next year. It feels Mix really it circular. Yeah. yeah. It feels really nice and circular and I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah. So I really, I honestly can't think of that many, there aren't negatives, but I felt like for the sake of this video, I needed to come up with something. So those are the only things that to me might come up as a negative for someone, but None of them affect us well, that way. <laughs> and, and at the end of the day, the number one reason I was cool with Maria bringing this into the house was because was specifically for one thing and one thing only. It wasn't as much for for uh, the soil and the uses for it for me. It was about diverting things from the garbage can. Yeah. Uh, and that's making our garbage less smelly. Even even if you're not a gardener, if you're just somebody who wants yeah. to be a little bit more intentional, this does that. You know, there like it's been really really exciting, and that's the primary reason that I use it. And um, if you're, every single day. And if you're not a gardener, the dirt can also just go in your green bin. Um, yep. So I think we should load this puppy up and rip it. Let's do it. All right, the moment of truth. Let's load this loamy up. So do you want to put food scraps in and sure. say what you're putting in there? Uh, we have a cucumber I forgot about in the back of the refrigerator, eggshells from this morning, uh, some apple cores, and the uh, coffee filter that we used for coffee this morning, and a couple of potato scraps. Now, I'm also, I cut up um, some of the packaging that the Lomi was shipped in. Um, it's approved, so we actually can take the packaging that, Lomi, that the Lomi was sent to us and turn it into dirt. And then, the craziest thing that we're including, I'm going to cut it up. Um, I have been a lover of the Pela phone case. It's completely compostable, and they, the owners of Pela, are the founders of the Lomi. So I'm cutting, That's cool. I know, isn't that wild? Yeah. So we're literally composting my cell phone case. Shout out to Pela, I freaking love them. But I've cut it up, we're tossing it in the Lomi. And then, for good measure, since I'm a plant parent, I killed a fern recently, or I have a fern that's not doing great. Um, we're gonna compost my fern as well. Cool. Good riddance, my friend. You're no longer bringing me joy. <laughs> <laughs> we're just putting the fronds in though, because we don't want to put the soil in, because I feel like that's cheating for a demo. All right, Billy, will you do the honors? Sure. Oh, hold on, pause. One thing that I do want to mention with the Lomi is they have a fill line do not overfill the Lomi. If you overfill it, it won't turn the whole thing into dirt. We've learned the hard way. Um, but if you do, it's fine. If you don't, it's great. Um, oh, and then we're also going to put in a Lomi pod. The Lomi pods help make the dirt more nutrient rich. So the Lomi pod goes in. Billy, will you do the honors, sure. please? And then I just hit the press button and go. Yes. Off we go. And it's the quietest little And this hug. is yeah, and this is what it sounds this is like. As loud as it Here we go. Billy and I are gonna go about our day, have a little dinner, go to bed, and we will see you here in a little while for the reveal tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Billy. Good morning, Don. <laughs> so we did just what we said. We ran the Lomi last night, we went to bed, we had a nice dinner, woke up, and now it's Christmas morning every day. <laughs> We love opening and seeing that tr this shit really works. It's wild. So, Billy, do you want to do the honors of opening it up and telling us what you see? Sure. I'm actually going to pull the, the bucket out because okay. I like the smell. So, yeah. It's fluffy it's, and... It's dirt, baby. And, like, 
it's like fluffy yeah, dirt it's... soil. It's wild that my freaking phone was a part of this. You can see like tiny little flecks of my yellow phone case. Yeah. But we can literally take this and plant plants in it, throw it in our garden, use it, put it in your green bin. Plant friends, I, I, I truly... I told you that I asked for extra time for with to test this product because it seems too good to be true, but it literally does exactly what we're telling you. We've run it. How many times do you think we've run it? Seventy. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we've we had it we for run it months. every day, uh, and sometimes we'll run it twice a day, especially if we're cooking a big meal with friends. Um, we'll actually like keep our, you know, some some of our trimmings aside so that we can fill it back up because it doesn't end up going in the garbage can. So It's like, wild. It literally works every time. Yeah. I can't believe it. I'm like waiting for the shoe to drop, but we've had this thing for three months now. Yeah. It just does. It takes your freaking food scraps and your cell phone yeah. and turns it into dirt. So and then this is we've for been today. saving after dinner our stuff. So we're just going to put stuff right back in. When you only have a little bit of dirt at the bottom, you can just add it back on top as long as you don't go through the fill line. So we're just loading it up again, but before we load it up again, plant friends, Low Me does not give a lot of coupon codes, but they've given us a coupon code because they're a podcast sponsor, $50 off the code Bloom. It's linked in the, um, in the show notes. And if you click the link in the show notes, it'll take you to the special page where you'll also get three months of Low Me Pods for free. So click the link, check it out. You can ask more questions in the comments now we're adding some apple scraps some um our coffee, our filter, coffee from filter from this morning the rest of that packaging that i had told you about and then the piece of the phone that shot through the air when she and the was piece of the phone up. that shot through the air so plant friends we love this product i'm so excited i'm it feels so good to be a little bit more connected to that kind of food chain and the recycling process um this is the only product that I've ever gotten behind. Personally. Yeah, man. Like this is my first ever. Like, I really think that this is worth uh, th that is worth adding to your home uh, if it fit if it fits your lifestyle and it fits a lot of different lifestyles. So yeah, uh, I and would it's never but... willingly get on camera unless I really believed in it and I really think it's a big deal. So. Yeah. That's my uh, endorsement. <laughs> yeah, so the coupon code is there. It is an investment. We feel like it's worth it. Until next time, plant friends, keep blooming. And keep growing. Joy! <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do